Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to more Project Zomboid, playing as Colonel Kurtz in the 10 years later mod with, uh, well, a whole bunch of other mods as well. Speaking of, I did add something to the mod list, which, well, I very much like, but we'll see how uh, impactful and eventful that uh, that mod list is, uh, well, that mod is going to be, and that is Rain Washes Away Blood. Um, fairly simple mod. I think it should work with the save file. I've added it manually into the save file, so it should work. Uh, basically makes it so that when there's rain, um, the blood that's on the, the ground will get washed off. Um, so, you know, if you have uh, stains all over your garden, you don't need to go and find bleach to clean it out. Currently, I couldn't care less with the, the setup that we have, chasing after the insurgents with the hope of finding them and, and getting their gear and figuring out if there's maybe an extraction, a way out for us or something, but yeah, it does look like they, they went this way. But um, later down the line, maybe that becomes available, maybe that, maybe that um, becomes important, who knows. Okay, so they definitely did go this way, um, that was correct. Oh, my. All right. Looks as though there was a somewhat longer fight over here. Where does this exactly lead? I don't remember. I think this is towards like a construction area or some warehouses or something. Supposed to be built. Yeah, I know about it mostly from my men. Did they? Yeah, this is where they broke in. <laughs> You can tell. Uh, I can take the key off of this one though. Maybe he was. Uh... Yeah, opens this door. Okay. Well, there's a nice, safe and secure area. Nice tall fences, sturdy cars in here. This is a good spot. And looks like they've cleaned out most of it. Let's get the rifle out. I get the feeling I'm close. And I'm basing that off the fact that they've killed pretty much everything they've come in contact with. That takes time. Yeah? That takes time. I've been following them, or trying to get on their trail up and down Raven Creek. Previously, I followed them across the river. Saw the bodies in their wake, and that sort of led me to this part of town and the area down here. Judging by the corpses, I think I'm slowly catching up to them. Or judging by, by how recent the corpses are, I mean. I think I'm catching up to them. It's just... Uh, Oh. 
There he is. That's one of them. Rest in peace, son. Sylvester Jones. Oh, they tore you up something fierce, didn't they? Where's your uniform? Like, bullet bandolier, fine, I'll take that. Holster. Stand this your military watch, dog tags. Rename that. Sylvester Jones. Uh, dog bag. There we go. And I'll take all these keys from you. I hope you don't mind. Well, I know you don't mind. <laughs> Poor bastard. Right. Uh, how was it that you do this? Uh, it was like that, right? Yeah. There you go. Well, you had something on you, didn't you? Bound Journal, a record of Sylvester Jones' life. Holy hell. You went through quite something, didn't you, buddy? Wait, what does that say? I can't read that. That's, that's funny, though. There's some text there that says, this is... Uh, I'm afraid I can't read it, though. Too, uh, pixely. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I kind of feel like I should leave this for later. But I'm too... I'm committed now. I have to know what happened to him. Taurus, Judge, Glock, Benelli, Kat Katana. Yes, please. How the hell did you die? Maybe he got bit back in the, uh... Back in the apartment building. This is where you get the record scratching thing. Flashback. Or maybe he opened the door and about 500 zombies were vomited out of the game and, uh, flooded his character. Maybe that's how he died. And maybe he's still bitter about it. And maybe he just wants to continue playing his character, but needs an excuse to sort of transform back into his original character and take it from there, and this is why he did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it back. Um, we got our stuff back, we got our skills back, which is most important. And uh, we're going to take it slowly from here. We're going to go back on track, playing until the um, release of the new update.
with a little bit more role play and a little bit less, um, well, actually not a little bit less, but without any more um, hindsight and uh, clairvoyance, shall we say, and ability to see into the future and the past. I need an excuse to get here. I tried to fit it into some sort of narrative, but ultimately we got here. That's all that matters. And from here on out, we continue the Let's Play as, um, well, we continue the blind Let's Play, right? Because now my new character knows everything that my old character knew and nothing more. So we're back. Okay, there's a lot of carpentry left to be learned here. He was, he was quite the carpenter. Okay. Poor bastard. Okay. Tell you what, you're not going to be needing all of these things. Yeah, we'll get his stuff later for now, though. Kinda gotta wonder where his friends are. And if he had any. Nope. Place looks empty. Okay. I'm going to finish reading that book. Getting myself acquainted with uh, our departed friend here and his mission. And then... Well, I'll proceed based on the information I get off of uh, his diary, I suppose. Right. First and foremost, place this thing down. Can't equip this, mind you. I don't need to. <clears throat> I want to carry all of these things anyway. Or we want to get rid of some of the weapons and stuff. Yeah. I have a Benelli super shotgun. Fair enough. Mirror. Why do you need a mirror? Casings. Those are bound to be heavy as hell, right? Yeah. Fire axe, katana, machetes. A Benelli Super Ego, uh, Super Ego, Super 90. Um, clock 21, two Kukuri, so two machetes and two Kukuri, but unlike his bladed weapons. Square shovel, box of ammo, 45 LC ammo. Box of nails. You poor bugger. I'm gonna have bandages and all, eh? Okay, tell you what. Tell you what. I'm gonna attach the Glock. And I like the idea of keeping most of this stuff.
Hmm. Can I equip? No, I can't equip that. He's not yet. I need to take some stuff out before I can lift it and put it on my back. Uh, but what though? Um. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't intend on doing anything with the propane torch. I don't need all this food. Can I equip it now? No. Let's get the shotgun out as well. Oh, it's a nice shotgun too. Get the fire axe out of the gun. Not out of the gun. <laughs> out of the backpack. Can I equip it now? No. Get the katana. Can I equip it now? Really? He had a to-do list on him. Find a permanent... HB? Home... HB? Don't know what an HB stands for. Ammo, new car, sledgehammer. Well, best laid plans of mice and men, right? Didn't do you much good, that did it. I will take your dog tags, though. You poor bastard. I'll leave you the water bottle. You don't need that. I'll just leave you the vitamins, crowbar, combat knife too. I gotta bury him somewhere. Pay my respects. Seems like the right thing to do. Hmm. Yeah. Can I equip this now? Yes, I can. Brick and finally. Right. Insurgent backpack. Much better. What do I not need out of these things? I'll tell you what, if I'm going to go with a 9mm pistol... Probably shouldn't, considering there's a better option right there, so I'm not going to go with a 9mm pistol. Uh, and that means that I'm not going to go with 9mm ammo either. I just can't carry all of it. And so, to that end, let's get that, attach that. Tana's good, I'm gonna take it. Keyring I don't need, and crowbar I already have. Yeah, that's about it, I feel like. As far as mild backpack is concerned, I'll take the 50 BMG ammo. Saw hammer, I think he already has that right. Saw hammer. Rude driver. Yeah, I already had one. Bound journal. So 
Take the cigarettes. I want to leave the journal with him. Yeah. Okay. And then, how much space do I have left? I have a bit. I have a fair bit of space left. I might want to grab a bit of food and a bit of water. Then, yeah, all of this food too. Well, not all of it, but as much as I can carry. Which leaves me exactly no room for the Cheyenne Tech intervention. But that's okay, I have a good bit of uh, equipment and weapons already. Do I have a shovel? Yes, I do. All right. Find you a nice spot to bury you, eh? Feel like it's the least I can do. Your stuff stays on you. And everything I needed, I pretty much took already. All right. Uh, wait, your to do list. I'm going to grab that just for the moment. Just so I can leave a note, I guess, next to the gravesite. Maybe I can put up a sign instead, but I don't know if I can uh, write on a sign. to cut that tree down too if I'm gonna take you across oh okay Would you leave me alone, please? I'm trying to pay my respects to a fallen hero. Alright, come here. shabby. And then, how can I build a... can I even build like a sign or something? Wooden sign. Yeah, I'm gonna need another plank. Painted messages to decorate your base and environs. Okay. Sure. And then... Wooden 
Golden Sign. Put it right next to him there. Can't exactly write on the sign, but I can write here. Here lies Sylvester Jones. Hmm. There you go, buddy. Rest easy. <laughs> I think that'll do for now. I'm gonna go, uh... I'm gonna go read this book now. See what he's been up to. In more detail and uh, probably take a look at some of the gear as well see if I missed anything <laughs>